Hey guys, this is Mani Karthik here. Welcome to another episode of Blogging 101. In this episode, we will take a look into what are the five things that you have to do immediately after you start your blog. So let's take a look. All right, so before we jump to the topic, let me give you a quick introduction about me. My name is Mani Karthik and I'm a blogger. And the last 10 plus years, I've been working in the US and the Middle East, helping small and big companies win online with online marketing strategies and SEO. I was working in the Silicon Valley with a lot of startups, but after a while I got bored because I decided to start things uh, for myself. So I returned to India and today I'm a full-time blogger and I work from my home office here uh, in India and I help a lot of people with online marketing and SEO, blogging, that kind of stuff. In this channel and my blogs, I share a lot of the stuff that I've sh uh, learned in the last 10 plus years. So if you'd like to see more of it, please subscribe and check out my blogs. All right, so let's get into the topic today. Tip number one is change your default content on the blog. So you'll notice that as soon as you install the WordPress blog, you'll see that there's a few things that's already there by default. Uh, this is the default content. And this content is there just to show you how things might look like on your blog. But you have to delete it before you start posting new articles and new content. Uh, the first thing that you have to change is the hello world article. This is basically a sample post or a sample article that shows you how your content might look like on the WordPress blog once you start posting, posting your own content. So make sure you delete the hello world article. You can do so by going to the dashboard and the post section. You'll have a screenshot here that shows how it is. Uh, the second default content that you have to change or delete is the sample page. You go to dashboard and the pages section, you'll see that there is a sample page there. Make sure you delete that before writing your own content. Either you can change the sample page or you can start or create a new page on your own and delete the old page. The third default content you have to delete is the widget. Uh, on the sidebar of the blog, you'll notice that there is a sample widget that has a few links in there. For example, there'll be a link to a login section, uh, the WordPress meta section, and powered by WordPress or something like that. Uh, this is totally unnecessary. Uh, actually, if you have this widget on, it basically screams out loud that yours is a mature blog. So make sure you that make sure that you change these three things before you jump in and write your own content. Number two is make sure you have Google Analytics installed. So if you go into Google Analytics dashboard, you'll notice that there is a code that you can add. You can get it by going into the admin section. Make sure you copy that code and insert it into your WordPress blog. You can either do that or you can install a WordPress plugin uh, that integrates both your WordPress blog and the Google Analytics uh, account. And you just have to put in your authorization code in there and it will automatically add the code. Basically what this does is it'll start tracking the website traffic to your blog so that you know all your stats right from the beginning. Number three is make sure you add or activate the Akismet plugin from the dashboard. Uh, this plugin is already there in the plugins section on the blog but make sure you activate it and when you activate it you have to add in a particular code that you get once you register for the Akismet service. It's a free service but basically what it does is it protects your blog against spam and all kinds of you know fraud activities. Number four, make sure that you add social media links to your website. Typically in a theme, you know, they add their own social media links like the developer information or the theme developer information uh, or it might be left blank. So make sure that you go into the settings wherever it is for your theme and add your relevant social media links because otherwise what will happen is when people look for connecting with you after reading your content, they'll notice either go to a different one because it was a different link there or they might not find you at all on social media, which is not a good thing. So make sure you add your social media links in the settings. Number five, very important, add an about me page. So like I mentioned in the first tip, make sure you delete the sample page. But once you do that, make sure you also add the about me page, which is basically a summary about who you are, what this blog is about and why someone should be reading this blog. You know, kinds of add that personalization and that custom personal touch 
to the blog. So make sure you have it. I've seen a lot of blogs where there is no about me information, there's no information about who the person is that is writing this blog, even though the information or the articles would be really awesome. And then the next step I'm doing is basically trying to find who this person is, see maybe I can connect with him, but that doesn't happen because they don't have an about me page. So that is a big, big, big disadvantage and that's a big mistake a lot of people make. Make sure that before starting writing articles, you have your about me page taken care of. All right guys, there you go. Five things that you should do immediately after starting your blog. Make sure that you do these before getting into content generation, traffic generation and things like that because this will make your blog look professional and you know not amateurish. All right, so hope you liked that video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you know something that I missed out in this video, please comment so that we can discuss it further. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you subscribe. See you soon.